All right. Hey, everyone. It's Bianca from RoomView. And joining me today, it's Callum Moore. He's a realtor and a content creator. Hey, Callum. Hello. How's it going? Good, good. Um, can't wait to talk a bit about what you do. You've got a big YouTube presence, uh, over 2,000 hours watched. So you're definitely doing something right um, with YouTube. So we want to get into that. But first, uh, you are a realtor, first and foremost, of course. So you're out there, you're selling homes. What got you into this, this career? 2000 monthly, monthly, by the way, I can only raise, I said that is because I just got that end in. So it's December right now, the time of this video. And I got that 1.5 million uh, views, minutes watched, which works out to 25,000 hours wow. annually, annually. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, no, that's so, super cool. YouTube is a fantastic thing. What got me into it? I don't have like the usual story of a person getting into it. Like I'm passionate about real estate. It was more, um, my background. So digital marketing background, and I wanted to get in because of the, my opinion, which I was right, uh, low cost of client acquisition with a potential return on investment, right? If I could spend $100 or $200 or more to get a client. And at the time, this was late 2017 when I was getting in the game, um, properties in my area of Kitchen Waterloo were about five fifty dollars average home. We're looking at twelve, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 commissions. This is a fantastic return on investment that I don't think uh, people or real estate agents were tapping into and maybe because they weren't marketers, if you know what I mean, they don't really look at those type of things. They don't really want to spend. They just want the referrals or something. So I approached a partner of mine or a friend of mine, I should say, he had been in real estate for four years and good, been doing good, but like not great. Like maybe his best year ever was like 120,000, right? Nothing crazy. And I was like, oh, I'm expensive, but let's get going on this. I'm like, we shook hands, 50, 50 partners and basically just took off. What I realized during that time, because then I was new to real estate at the time and I did so much research. Once I got access to the back end of everything was holy smokes. Yes, you can acquire clients at this price, but uh, the value of a lifelong client is actually extremely valuable too. So you kind of learn that great client service. So I got in on a marketing end just to get them. And then you, then you just, if that's in you too, if you have that great client service, like just within you, because some people have it and people don't, then you, then like that 10 to $14,000 client could potentially be a hundred thousand dollar client. Right. So, right. so you learn some stuff, but that was basically what I got in for at the beginning. Interesting. That's interesting because yeah, like you said, uh, you sort of think like this person must love looking at properties, but you're coming in with a marketing background and you're a numbers guy. So it's interesting the way that you look at real estate compared to say some other realtors. So has that, yeah. I think that also um, is the reason that you have um, a different way of approaching your marketing. Uh, you have this, this YouTube business to business uh, channel that you've got. Okay. So that happened to, uh, that happened three years later. Okay. So yeah, we have the other channel, the other channel, YouTube. I love YouTube. Always have. I just, there's a certain connection you have to a platform, I suppose. Like, let's say I don't scroll feed. Like I never like, I like my friends and family and everything like that, but I prefer to talk to them than scroll. Okay. So, but I know I search, I love to search, right? Because I want to get answers. So YouTube is always my thing. So then and I knew real estate agents weren't crushing YouTube. And I knew that it was a search engine, which means like longevity. You can make a video that just sits evergreen for a long time and has X amount percentage search base, 22, 28% search. So it just sits out there. You do it once, it just keeps getting you leads forever. So we started what was beginning with is a, a business to consumer real estate channel. And that was uh, basically promoting our area and doing, it was a 75% community-based channel because we live in a gorgeous area, Kitchen Waterloo, right? So, and a growing area. So, promote this as much as you can. And then it was 25% educational. Okay. So, that happened for three years. Grew that channel. It's about one of the biggest in Ontario. But then uh, COVID hit. So, COVID hit, and we were doing so many videos at that time. And one of my favorite things to do was uh, interviews with local people. Like, it could be a bar, it could be a restaurant, it could be a business. Because in my mind, every time we did that, we would get at least one client because the owner would love us because I make these videos so good. So in right. my mind, I was like, okay, I'm getting one client for sure. And then of course, I'm going to repurpose that onto YouTube. YouTube, those videos don't do great because it's not that searched, but then mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, Instagram would crush that stuff. So then we repurpose it over there as well. And then COVID hit and we were doing so many of those. And I was like, okay, uh, it slowed down because my partner, Matt Rooney was like, listen, pump the brakes. We don't even know the world's on fire. We don't even know what's happening here. And I was like, but I, my mind, I can't stop. Right. So I was like, I, I can't do videos anymore. 
uh, he doesn't, the market didn't really slow down, did it? It kept up, but, um, but he didn't want to do a bunch of the stuff that I was filling most of my day. So I was like, all right, let me just quickly have my real estate license to make myself more valuable. That's how that happened. Oh. And then I had more time on my hands. So then I went on YouTube and I was like, all the stuff that I was searching for to get through this crazy Humber College real estate program that we have here in Ontario. It's like the biggest in the world, like six courses, uh, seven courses, six exams. And I just wasn't, there was people doing it, but they kind of put a camera on themselves and they would sit, just start rambling. You know what I mean? And it wasn't organized. I wasn't learning from these videos. And I'm like, okay, why don't I go through it? And if what I learn, maybe there'll be somebody out there like me that wants to search for it. And that's how that channel was invented. And it turns out there's a ton of people that want that in Ontario. They're, yeah, they're getting their real estate license for all types of reasons. So then that's how I was there. And that grew pretty fast. Okay. So and I, I'm sure, you know, realtors that are watching are like, okay, hey, I, I, this all makes so much sense. What, what a great kind of plan. Um, do you, what's your background in terms of making the videos? Like, do you shoot them yourself? Do you edit them? Do you use, I mean, you don't have to give away all of your secrets, obviously, no. but is this something that you can share that other people could, you know, maybe try to do their own uh, type of marketing like this to feature their, you know, local communities? Yeah. So not to pump the one, but I have a course on it. So I have a legitimate course on how to go okay. to A to Z to starting a YouTube channel from uh, literally zero to uh, getting clients. And that one is actually based on the consumer because the majority of the people that follow me are not going to be B2B like myself. But of course, I'd love to talk to someone on that, but it goes from A to Z on that. And it is simple. I try to keep it as simple as possible because realistically, real estate agents don't have me at the very beginning. What do you mean? Like, let's say when I was joining my partner, they didn't have me but they probably do have an amazing phone, right? Like these phones are, they've destroyed the market of a $2,000 camera. So I based this entire course on, okay, what do you need? You need a mic, you need uh, your phone, which most likely it's, if it's above Samsung 7, you're good. And mm -hmm. you need a ring light. <laughs> right. Like that's all I, I say you need. And I have these like exact steps of what to do, how to start the channel and what to focus on, followed by SEO and everything like that. And just basically... Uh, I do suggest writing scripts, but like everything I'm doing, like let's say if we focus on the one thing, the hardest thing is the editing, I want to say, but you can learn to edit with my course in like two hours, realistically of what you need to do. All it is with community videos is film yourself, cut that up. Perfect. You've cut that up. Then film some B-roll of like what you're talking about. Just how maybe this video might be edited. Then put that on top. And like, I keep it so simple and it's all about the message. It's positioning yourself in an area as an expert, because a lot of people may be watching this. They've probably been real estate agents, maybe for five, 10 years. They know their area or even a person, a brand new agent, maybe have lived in the area for 10 years. They know their area. Mm -hmm. Just position yourself as an expert, expert, put yourself on video. And then of course, have a couple call to actions, right? Just be like, Hey, and if you're thinking of moving here, or if you're thinking of making a lateral move in this area, reach out, just like just like the easiest little call to action with a small graphic. And I kind of show how to make those. They're just simple green screens, right? Yeah. With a small graphic that pops up. You've seen it before. And uh, and you'd be surprised how much you can learn with this course. This course is not expensive. You can buy it on sale for my channel. And just like that, you can start a YouTube channel. And within one year, like one of my people with one year, they're getting two leads per week right now. One of the people that have joined that course. Yeah. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing platform. Amazing platform. Plus, it can be repurposed. Let's say you love Instagram, then do shorts. Shorts over on Instagram. Let's say you're trying to grow TikTok, even short now, whatever you want to do, right? You can repurpose them all on every single platform. I always suggest organic on Facebook, but other ones keep them short and vertical. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, that's definitely been, I mean, now knowing your story, I, I wanted to chat about like how social media has changed real estate, because I think that is one of the industries that's been most affected. Um, so the fact that I know now that you have this digital marketing background and then you became a realtor, um, it definitely makes sense that then you would have all this knowledge of, of how to market. Yeah, may maybe though, but like, I don't even think what I know is that crazy because it was different. So I was marked my biggest, I wanted to get into high ticket sales. My marketing was small ticket, small ticket sales or client acquisition. So what my other one was basically, and I didn't get paid too much on that. So it was when I was making these big switch over to uh, high ticket sales, it's a whole different ball game. Right. Because uh, I do find, because I know uh, what you guys do at RoomVu, it's like a, it's for the real estate agent that that is a high percent of real estate agent that wants that click and play. Right. But then I kind of, what I kind of 
try to do or with my partner was like, let's make this extremely personable. You know what I mean? Like right. we're going to be in every single video. Our face is going to be in every single video, but that does take a bit of work. But then if you choose that to be one of your, I suppose, uh, marketing techniques, right? So if you put five hours a week in it, you can do one video a week, five hours and get to know people in the community too. So yeah. Uh, well, I that's think the thing. Yeah. Fast. I think uh, it's exactly what you said, though. It's like maybe you're you're doing something where you're putting your face on it, but maybe you're finding other places like RoomView to get some extra content because sure. it's going to take you a week to do a video uh, featuring you in, in a you you know, a local restaurant. So that brings me to my next question: um, sort of the quality and consistency. So, how do you approach uh, your content? Is it is a certain level that you put out or do you, will you throw out, you know, a quick Instagram live and also do you plan and schedule or is it very spontaneous? No, definitely scheduled. Just the type of person I am. I was just, but it was their own. Um, it's very scheduled. I don't do, um, any, if anything in Facebook groups, maybe some lives and that's still just 100% educational. In my case, it is B2B. Um, but that doesn't mean necessarily, it doesn't have to be like if you had a local Facebook group for your community, let's say Waterloo region Facebook group, you could do some lives in there and they could, but I suggest them still be scheduled. And then you can clip that. Like, you know how this whole game works now. Um, it, it's not that hard to do. You and I have this interview together and we can take short clips, right? Mm -hmm. Of it, like, oh, some like just like maybe some people, there was some rambling that I did. And then you're like, okay, this was a hot piece. And you snap that 59 second hot piece. Right. So if anything, you could do do stuff like that. But of course, I would suggest be scheduled. Um, let your audience know that every single X, X day, you're going to be getting a YouTube video from you or every single X day, they're going to get another video. Yeah. So very scheduled for myself. Yeah, no, and I think that's definitely, that's the advice one gets, I think often, but it's hard sometimes to know, you know, how to start. So I think scheduling may help a lot of people out there that, um, are thinking like, should I do something today or should I leave it till next week? And how many times? I think if you schedule, it probably helps kind of push you to, to do it. Yep. I agree. Okay. You're also big into referrals and, and I've seen uh, videos that you've done with, I believe it was your partner just talking about a referral network. I thought that was really interesting in terms of real estate. Hadn't seen that before. So how do you guys approach that? Yeah. So what I think is pretty cool about that is, and again, and I don't even, it doesn't matter. It's only because I have such a huge real estate agent following, right? So let's say if you go to my Instagram, I don't know if it's 2,000 people or whatever, or even let's just, let's just go to YouTube, 13, 14,000 people. Those are what, 90% agents are wanting to get the real estate license. So I was positioned in a, a, in a scenario where I could be like, okay, listen, you're all real estate agents. I'm in Waterloo region. You probably like me because you've subscribed. Yeah. If you have any clients in this area, uh, let us kill it for them. If you know what I mean? And you guys get 25%. I don't like traveling, right? So I don't even leave a few suburbs within Kitchener. Uh, my partner does a lot of the other stuff. The, um, so like, like with Niagara Falls, for instance, there's no way I'm driving an hour and a half. To, to oh, that is home. supposed to be beautiful. <laughs> yes, of course. Maybe if I brought my fiance and we will party yeah. or something, but like, uh, I no way I'm doing that for a client. And, uh, and so I'd rather refer it. So mm -hmm. if anyone, that, so all, all my stuff that I kind of produce is like, okay, if you're anything like me and you think like me, let, let's work together, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, you don't even have to like, if if some, I know some agents are like, oh, they don't let me, they don't like that I'm helping real people get the real estate license. Okay. So they can just be in that percentage, but like other ones that will reach out to me, you can't, can't please everyone, but just kind of like, this is brilliant. If you want to be in our referral network where I get so many people that reach out to me reach out and then like send a client our way. You still get 25%. That's great business. Make an introduction. You know, they're going to get amazing client service from the both of us and we're going to kill it for them. And that that's pretty cool to, in my opinion. So I don't know if a lot of people put that out there as much as I kind of try to put it out there. Um, but uh, yeah, that's something like I'm pretty passionate about. Yeah. It, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, especially if you think about the piece of all the content you're doing, because I think, you know, when I, I was, when we were growing up, maybe the local weatherman would be sort of recognizable in the community or your news anchor or your sports, your hockey player. But now through social media, it is entirely possible that there are many people in our communities on YouTube that we would recognize walking down the street. So it makes sense to me, if you're going to be uh, a realtor and you're going to engage in social media, that the referrals 
may come in because people kind of feel like they know you because they've seen you so often on YouTube or other social media. One of the best things, and it works well, just not of course business to business, but business to consumer. Uh, when people watch four or five to 10 of Matt Rooney's videos on uh, the best of Waterloo region with Matt Rooney, guess what? They feel like they know him. 50% of the legwork's done. Now it's just like, okay, are you like, are you pre-approved? <laughs> what house do you want? Right? Like they like you already because they, you're just being yourself. You're, you're providing value in the form of video content and being yourself. And that will attract like-minded people into your life. Then from there, it's just uh, business as usual. Right. And do you have any advice there? Um, I know for a lot of people, it's awkward. As soon as the camera gets on, uh, turns on, you see that red light to kind of be yourself, anything that you did or you found helpful. Yeah. I wonder. Um, I think it just eventually you can't fake it. Like, well, maybe people can like, okay, actors, but yeah. like you, um, you just can't fake it. But what I do suggest in my course is that write some scripts because here's what's going to happen. You're going and this, this is what you're going to be like, okay, someone who's going to watch this and be like, listen, I'm gung ho. I'm ready to do YouTube. I'm going to buy Callum's course and I'm going to start. And then the camera's going to hit them. Like you just said, and they're going to be like, this is hard, mm -hmm. but like, I always suggest. And then the, they forget everything. They forget everything. They're like, Oh, this isn't for me, but I suggest writing a 100% script and I show how to do this, right? Like I have even templates hit up this in your area, this, this, this introduction followed by this. And I suggest writing a script. And you'll start to feel good. Okay, now I have something on paper. And then if you need to, just have a bit of a teleprompter. I actually show people to have this bit of a teleprompter close to them to just refer to, refer to it. And even if it's like 80%, then you get better at it where it's more ad lib at it eventually because you just, you know, the area and just want to flow, right? But at least at the beginning, get yourself some scripts about certain areas. And then I bet you your confidence is 10 times more just based on myself. Everything I kind of say is based on me. When I started, I was like, even my Matt Rooney, I was like, we're going to do a first time home buyers video. I put the camera on him mm -hmm. one minute in. He had no clue what he was talking about. Right. Like, he's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, I, I can't remember anything. Like, yeah. right? I'm just like, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to write a script. He's like, okay, you're right. Cause yeah. he thought he was like one of those guys. Like he, he yeah. knows all that stuff. Mm -hmm. He knows every single aspect of the first time home buyer, but it's just impossible to put into words, like a flow on a video like that. So boom, I suggest uh, put it onto word, put it onto paper. Uh, you'll feel great about writing that. Do it in the morning. It only takes 40 minutes. And then yeah. take from there. Um, so yeah, I guess my question would be, I think it's always fun to chat about like anything that you did where you look back now and you're like, Ooh, or anything in the beginning that was a struggle for you that you overcame that, you know, again, people can kind of look to and say, okay, this guy seems he's like so smooth. He's the editing's great. The shoe's great. Anything early on that, that makes you cringe a bit. Oh yeah. You'll for sure get better. I want to say, because I did mine COVID and I couldn't get a haircut. I looked back, I'm like, God damn it. The hair looks terrible. Right. right? And, I, and then I'm in this weird, this green room and I'm wearing just like a white shirt. But all I can kind of say is just go, because if you don't go, you'll never go. You know what I mean? Like, it was, and that's so many people. Mm -hmm. um, and then th those, some of those first videos I did are, I don't know, no one cares because the value is there. Like, right. so maybe I find, okay, I'm getting better at speaking. I'm moving, I'm flowing better through the editing and yada, yada from the very beginning. And maybe my head, cause I think my head was like this. I was like, why is your head like up? Right. There's so many things you have, it's going to happen. Um, but then no one cared in some of those early videos because the value was there. That's all yeah. that matters. Right. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. the content. It's what's coming in your mouth. Okay. And for you, um, any goals, anything that you haven't done yet with, with your uh, marketing approach, with your business that you're looking to do next year? So I do have another, I, I do have other courses that really help people get through the Humber College real estate program. And that course is, is basically 90% refined. So I have a big goal of make, taking it up that other 10%. And I know what I have to do for that. I'm also getting my broker's license, uh, Two days from now, I have this another simulation session. So I want to nab my broker's license because I'm, I'm officially only two years into being a real estate agent, but I want to know everything. You know what I mean? Like, so you have to wait two years to become a broker. So I just have to make sure of every, any position I've ever done in life, I just have to make sure I'm the top. So right. I want to get that as much as I know. I don't, I don't want to open up my broker, own brokerage, that's for sure. But uh, I just want to know everything just in case. And, and I do like the idea, if I'm being dead honest, the title. Like I like the idea of now Callum Moore real estate broker. 
if you know what I mean. Like I like the idea of the title to go with it. And then of course you can decide if later on if you did want to take management roles within a brokerage or um or open up your own type thing. Probably not open up my own. I, I my life's pretty good. I wouldn't want the the liabilities of that. Uh, that's for sure. Right. Um, in terms of, cause you do kind of look at everything through a marketing lens, anything that's new and up, like up and coming. I know you mentioned TikTok. So now we're seeing, seeing realtors shift over to TikTok as well as the other, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anything else we should be looking out for any ways of marketing, anything coming up that you've seen that's like a trend or something new. So I, um, I'm definitely like, don't care about uh, TikTok. Uh, or Instagram, right? So, but I understand how the world works, right? So only because we're looking at a younger crowd and the discrepancy between uh, income and average house price is so big that I know the people that are on TikTok and Instagram, it's very tricky for them to purchase homes. It's, un- it's expensive to live in Ontario. It's expensive to live in Canada, right? So I don't need to uh, waste my time over there, if you know what I mean. YouTube, Facebook, we have people, more affluent people that are possibly purchasing homes. So I don't spend too much time. That being said, still repurpose content over there um, as it slowly grows. You know what I mean? Like Facebook was once 19 year old, right? So it could just, yeah, when I was young, it just just goes, boom, it just then TikTok, it just eventually comes up. So you can just start something over there and keep it going. But I would spend 90% of my time, of course, like I don't even spend any time over there uh, on YouTube and Facebook um, strictly because of my time. I, I, don't need a bunch of lease uh, clients uh, type of thing. But of course you get a bunch over there. Um, it, it's a tricky, it's a tricky game. It, 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 we know how this world works, even with, even with uh, prices coming down. Um, it's still tough to afford a house for a brand new agent. Right. So you might as well focus your energy where people have money. It, that's how my mind works. It, and maybe a mixture of two things that, because that's just marketing and being smart, but like also, uh, I don't like them as much. I mean, like I just do what I like. Like, so I like YouTube because I like to learn in longer form content. I never scroll. Right. Mm -hmm. So I never, I never go through and scroll through someone's thing. Like I try sometimes just to make sure I hit up some people I like, get some likes out there, but I'm never even consuming any of the content because it's useless to me to a certain extent. It's never going to be educational. Uh, It's going to be short stuff, but it's just branding, isn't it? That people find the branding. So that's, I know that sounds, I know it sounds maybe a little not harsh, but like, that's just how my mind works, right? Mm-hmm. Use what you, you're happy with. I know so there's so many people, they hate long form videos. I have people that reach out to me. They're like, YouTube, I watch you in 2X speed because I can't handle how slow it is. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, like, okay. I know. I, yeah, that's actually, it's a good point. They have that with podcasts too. So people can't actually listen to a podcast. It feels too slow. They've got to speed up the speaking. Well, I think what you're saying, what I'm hearing from you really is that it's very personal to how... Yeah. You, you know, you approach the social media, whether it's LinkedIn, you know, that's another good one we haven't mentioned yet, all the way to TikTok, which is maybe where most young people are right now uh, and Snapchat, and they're probably not in the market for a new home. So it makes sense to kind of think about what are you on? What are you best at? And where are your potential clients? Yep. I 100% agree. If I know what you like, then do what you like. Because let's say you get 100 views on YouTube, at least. If 5% of those like you, that's, that's a lot of money in this game, right? So you don't, don't just make sure you're in front, position yourself in front of the right audience yeah. that you like. Yeah, it is all about the leads at the, at the end of the day. Okay, real quick, how can people find you? I suppose the best way would Instagram's good. <laughs> After I have to shit on Instagram. Uh, Instagram's good. Uh, Calamore KW. Uh, Kitchener Waterloo stands for Callum Moore KW at, uh, or no, at Callum Moore KW and then Callum Moore KW at gmail.com or Callum dot Moore at, uh, exp realty.com. Any of those, um, Instagram is probably one of the best for that, for just messaging. I want to say for myself, but of course, uh, email is really good if you want to kind of like collaborate or ask like good questions because right. then, yeah, I'll take my time to get back to it. Exactly. And the nice thing about your Instagram is there's a link and you can find your website and your YouTube. So it's kind of an easy place to start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time and for the great advice and all that info about uh, the current state of real estate. Thanks so much. Okay, cool. Thanks so much for having me.